In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called inverse functions, quadratic, square root. We're given the function f of x equals the square root of 3 minus x plus 4, and we're given its domain. We're asked to find the inverse function, f inverse of x. And to do so, I'm going to first recall that f of x is the y value here. So to find the inverse function, our process is to switch the x's and y's. So I'm going to rewrite this as x on the left hand side and the square root of 3 minus y underneath the radical plus 4. So again, I have switched the x's and y's in the original function. And now to find the inverse, I need only solve for y. So I can start that solving process by first subtracting this 4 over to the other side. That would give us on the left x minus 4 equals the square root of 3 minus y. And then to continue solving for y, I could square both sides of this equation. That would have the effect of x minus 4 squared on the left. On the right hand side, the square and square root will cancel, leaving 3 minus y. Continuing to solve for y, I can subtract 3 from both sides. x minus 4 squared minus 3 equals a negative y. And then lastly, dividing both sides by a negative 1 will change all of the signs. So on the left hand side, the x minus 4 squared will be negative and the minus 3 will be positive. So I'm just going to write this as a positive 3 minus an x minus 4 squared. We have solved for y after switching the x's and y's. So our f inverse function will be 3 minus x minus 4 squared. That was the first part of the question. We were also asked to state the domain of the inverse function here. We should recall that the domain of the inverse function will equal the range of the original function. So here, if we look back at our original function, f of x, we know that the square root will always be positive. It could be 0 or anything bigger than 0. And if we add 4 to 0 and anything bigger than 0, then our range for the original function could be as small as 4, including 4, because the square root here could be 0. But then anything else, we would start to add to 4. And we would add all the way up to positive infinity. So since the range for our original function is 4 to infinity, then the domain for our inverse function will have to be the same. It will be 4 to positive infinity.